Alright guys, what's up? It's your boy R. Dykes here, coming at you with another exclusive scheme, uh, second one of the day. I know a lot of people are asking for read option schemes, uh, they're asking for pass heavy schemes, so I was like, you know what, let's go with a pass heavy scheme and a read option scheme. Uh, the pass heavy scheme is actually, I just finished it, it's uploading to YouTube right now. It'll be on the Madden forums, I think it'll be on Madden Tips homepage as well. Uh, same with this, it should be on Madden Tips homepage or just on the forums, either way. Uh, like I said, guys, what you're going to want to do first, as always, check your audibles. Let's put these things in check. So as you see, your first audible is going to be the split triple option. We will explain why we use the triple option instead of the read option, and so on and so forth. Again, we're going to use the split FK wide receiver screen wheel. A uh, really underrated play, I think. I don't think a lot of people know about this play, but it's really hard to stop. <laughs> Again triple option slip we're actually going to be changing this i just actually thought of something while i was doing this so i was like we're going to go somewhere else we're going to go with a different direction we're going to go triple option switch out of the pistol and then again uh i know people were asking for the pistol so that's why we decided to do it and then on the f uh fourth audible we are going to go with uh let's go ahead and run let's do the z spot I'm feeling good in this Z spot. That way you have a pretty nice pass play out of the pistol. We're going to go ahead and go Z spot. And then lastly, you're going to have the, uh, I think it's called the uh, the weak trips. There's two different trips in this playbook. Let's go ahead and go look. It's the wide trips tied in slot. As you guys can see, we will go with the read option there. So you guys should see your five audibles. Go ahead and set them. Again, you got... The split triple option, the split wide receiver screen, pistol triple option switch, triple option, uh, whoops, I'm sorry, pistol at, uh, Z spot, and then of course the trips read option. So this is a read option heavy scheme as you guys have already seen. I just wanted to to add a couple pass plays here and there because I don't want you guys to be running the read option and having them blitz you out of everywhere, which is why I added a passing play for this and I added a passing play for that. This there's actually a good uh, passing play just from the base. So we're going to use that. And then also your base play is just excellent, guys. I think it might be the best read option in the game. So, again, we're going to back out of here, and we're going to go to your base play. We're going to back out, and we're going to go to your actual base play. We're going to go all the way down to the spread Y slot read option. And I think it's the fifth one. Yeah, the fifth read option, as you guys see. What you're going to do, guys, we're going to go ahead and put the defense – in a nickel because the problem with this is guys is they don't want to be like in a dime because then we can run it they don't want to be in a like a 5-2 or a 4-3 because then we can just throw it because it's so balanced which is why we're just gonna put them in a nickel and a balanced type of defense and you guys see right here um, you guys should be watching the triple option tip on how to run it before this um, I have the video out I'm gonna go ahead with this scheme and post this before the tip actual um, well, I think it'll be the first video in the forum. It'll say triple option tip, and it'll say watch this first. So if you're watching this and you're not watching the triple option tip, if you don't, if you don't know how to run it, I definitely wouldn't run this yet. Go ahead and watch that. If you don't know how to read, run the read option, if you do, then then good luck to you. You're you're set. So again, you as you guys know, uh, the DN on the right. If he's running to the right, you're gonna read that DN. So we're gonna come out and do that first. So again, read the DN. He crashes down. Get Joe Webb. Uh, could have got up to the next level. She probably could have got that. Again, let's try to run this again, see if we can get a better play. He stands up, so you're going to hand it off. Give it to Adrian Peterson, which is kind of the reason I did this with uh, Minnesota. I was at a tournament, by the way, and uh, Joe Webb just tore this guy apart in a round-robin tournament. I was already w I already won the tournament. It was the last match. So, I mean, even if I would have lost, I would have still won. So, I was like, you know what? I'll try, like, Minnesota or somebody. So, they actually tore it up for me, which is why I'm making this. Again, you're going to read that D end. He crashes, so you're going to run with Joe Webb. That d the D-tackle actually gets over your right guard. That's okay. Sometimes they get that, sometimes they don't, guys. Again, let's try to get this with the quarterback. The main thing for me is I want to get a nice run with the quarterback. But as you guys can see, a lot of the read options that you do see out there, it's, uh, the running back doesn't get very good yards, and he's actually getting pretty good yards here. So, again, we're going to do it again. Stands up. I accidentally didn't hand it off. I don't think I had my uh, thumb on the X button, so we'll try it again. Stands up. Hand it off. AP. Again, the reason I like this team, again, was AP and the read option. It was tough to stop. So, again, he stands up, guys. I'm trying to get him to come down, but he just won't come down. So we're going to keep handing it off to the ball, to the guy. 
There he goes. He crashes down finally. And you know what? My Titan's just not making a block here. So you know what? We're going to try to run this a little bit different now. Uh, I got an idea. We're going to go here. We're going to motion him. And then there he stands up. Let's hand it off to AP. AP gets a big gain. Again, guys. Let's do this again. We're going to motion him again. Motion. Stands up. Run it. God, an AP. Look at AP, guys. He's just going off. So, I mean, that's that's a big thing. If your quarterback doesn't have it, just give the ball off again. Front it again, guys. Look at this. AP getting five yards. I mean, you you got to take that, guys. This is going to get to the point where they're just going to be getting upset. Again, there. He finally crashes down. There's the block we're looking for. It's been I don't know why it wasn't working the game before. I'm not really sure. Wish it would have been working. So, that's pretty much going to look like your best thing. And then... Again, as you guys always know, the way I break these videos apart is against man coverage and zone coverage. So as you guys know, they're in a two-man under right here. So what we're going to do is now, after you've kind of established the read option, if you go to your quick pass, you you know you notice you have your curl-flat combo. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to actually leave the left side on a curl-flat combo. And we're going to do the guy with the fade, the actual uh, tight end there. We're going to um, wheel the running back or block him, whatever you prefer. And then we're going to leave Jenkins on that uh, slant. So what we're going to do is same thing. So like we're going to run it. We're going to fade him. He actually comes inside. I'm um, not sure. That was actually your first read. So let me uh, – let's try this again, guys. Let's go out route. Leave him on the flat just in case maybe they're disguising the coverage. Again, let's fade him, slant him, and let's go ahead and – again, let's go ahead and wheel the running back again. So the fade – and then your first read is going to be him. You're going to try to pass lead inside. Uh, that was kind of a weird switch. I don't know if you guys saw that. The middle linebacker actually pointed off, and he went to Rudolph, but that was actually pretty cool. So, again, we're going to do that again. Your first read is going to be the fade route. So, again, we're going to motion him, snap it right about there, get that fade route. Look at that. Burnt. Burnt. Touchdown. There it is, guys. What a beautiful play right there. And you know what? They're thinking, oh, he's going to run the read option. They might be bringing down a safety. You never know right there. So, again, that's probably going to be your first read. We're going to wheel the running back again. Try this one more time. See what, see what it is again. Run that fade route. Look, he's like pointing him off, guys. I'm going to lob that up because the linebacker looks like he's going to be chasing. So I'm going to go on and make a play right there again. So next thing you're going to want to do is make your second read, which is going to be your out route. So again, we're going to wheel him here again. Motion. Not there. Then you're going to hit your, your out route. Oh, he drops the ball. Okay. So we'll go ahead and take that, guys. I mean, the, the out route is there. You just got to uh, hope your receiver makes the catch. So, again, we're going to motion him in. Look there. And then throw the out route. Great catch. Jerome Simpson right there. Hung on in traffic. Nice little catch there. Like I said, guys, this scheme is really made for San Francisco. It's made for New England. Uh, not New England. <laughs> it's made for Seattle. It's made for San Francisco. Carolina. But uh, the only reason I decided to run this with Minnesota is just to show you guys, like, check it out. You can run this with Minnesota and do some damage, I think. Because I know there was a couple people that were asking, well, can I get some damage with Minnesota? I know a couple people up up there in the the Northeast were like, I want I want a Minnesota scheme. So decided, I was like, you know, I'll go ahead and run this read option thing with them. You know, I saw some Joe Webb stuff that game that night, and then the tournament I tried it out, so... You know, might as well. Another good catch by Simpson. So you guys get the main basics of this base play again. Then you got your you got your quick pass. Again, like I said, the draw is pretty much simple. As you've watched any of my schemes, running the ball is pretty much simple, unless it is the read option. You do have to do some work on the read option. But just just look and see what you're gonna do on the draw. I'll run it again. Uh, looks like the middle's open. There it is. AP just runs that full over. Gets about eight yards. I mean, you gotta take that. And then like again. The deep pass is just simple, simple four verticals, guys. Nothing special there. And then this is where your money play is. Check this out, guys. Double wheels. How can you go wrong on that? Double wheel route. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually out route your running back. You're going to drag Simpson. You're going to leave B, and you're just going to leave everybody else. Now, if you see this man coverage, guys, these wheel routes are going to be open on the inside pass lead. So same thing, guys. You're going to look at your running back. So say your running back's there. Like say that say let's just say they they have that middle linebacker and they decide not to use her. Just look at your your uh, running back at first, because I mean sometimes people just decide to not cover the back. So go ahead and look at him. He's not there. You're gonna look at your left wheel route. You're gonna have Percy Harvin there, or you're gonna have you're gonna want a Ted Ginn, a Percy Harvin, or you're gonna want a Golden Tate or a Leon Washington in that position. You guys will see why in this video. So, again, let's go ahead and out him. Let's drag him again. Look at your running back. He stays with him. Again, pass lead that. Pass lead it left. Throw it there. 
There it is again, one more time. We're going to drag out, leave everybody else on their routes. Again, running backs covered, pass lead that. And great catch by Harvin. I mean, he's making one handed catches here. Again, like I said, guys, sooner or later, they're going to start uh, playing man, maybe put a purple over there. So then what you're going to do, same thing, you're going to look at your, your X over there on the right side. Now, he doesn't get quite the separation right there as the guy on the left. He kind of goes off of your screen where you can't see him. But you've just got to trust him that he's going to get there. Again, same thing, drag him, out route him, and then leave everybody else. And then again, go ahead and say they start to use that left side. Throw that, guys. He's going to be there. You might not see him, but he is going to be there. So, I mean, you've got double wheel routes, guys. This is hard. This is almost like a pass wheel drags, to be honest with you, with the read option. Pretty similar, except you don't have the tight ends inside. But double wheel routes is just hard to stop anyway. So, again, that's pretty much it, guys. You look at your look at your running back, look at your left wheel, and then look at your right wheel. You can also throw the circle route, guys, against man, but it is a little bit tougher. You've got to hit it right about there. Um, I suggest getting the guy with catching traffic in that spot. Again, we'll, we'll do this one more time just so you can see it. But as you guys see on the route, it, he goes up, up, and then his second break. So he's got one break there and then second break right there. That's when you want to throw it against man, right about there. So if you're going to throw that route, definitely hit that second route. But that pretty much just does it for our base play. I mean, you guys get the idea. You guys have run spread. I'm sure Farrell's a show. You've seen Farrell's videos with the spread. I mean, he's just he was killing it early on in the year with spread. He was doing stuff like this or he was going here. And then uh, he was actually going like this, the zig, and then the fade. So he was doing stuff like this. You guys can do all this too if you want. Run the same stuff that you've learned from Madden Tips. Uh, same type of spread scheme. So, I mean, you guys can carry your spread knowledge that you have over with this. This is why I like this so much. I think it's so good. So once again, guys, that's pretty much your base play. Um, bad throw by Webb there. But like I said, guys, definitely if, you, if you're not a top player, don't mess around with Minnesota unless you're – you're, you're confident, but I wouldn't mess around Minnesota unless you're a great player. But like I said, I just wanted to show you guys this Minnesota because I thought they were pretty good for me at least. But again, let's show this one more time on that second break. It uh, doesn't catch it, so but you guys get pretty much the idea. So that's going to be your base play, and uh, we're going to continue on with the next play. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, what's up again? Your boy, R. Dykes here. Um... I actually forgot to make in the first video your zone beaters for your base play. So I'm going to add this on. It's going to be kind of weird. It's going to say I'm going to be signing off, and then it's going to actually continue this on. So, again, come out in your read option. We're going to do the same thing. Put them in a cover three. Sorry about that, guys. Really apologize. So, once again, you guys you guys get the, the, the idea with the passing. The read option is simple, guys. Just read that D end again, and same type of thing. Now, what you can do here is you can either go – uh, running back on a streak, or you can actually just out him. I usually streak him, but the same thing, guys. You're going to want to motion your tight end over like this. So he's going to go into the flats and then hit your out routes right there. You're going to want to go for your out routes, of course, against zone. That's probably the best zone beater in the game is out routes. So, again, you're going to motion him in like you're running the read option or you're running your fade just so they don't really pick up on it. Again, nice little catch there. I didn't think Jenkins was get there. Oh, Jenkins going ham and a touchdown. So, like I said, guys, Minnesota might not be the best team to use, but at the same time, they are actually – Joe Webb is good enough to get it done against people that run zone. He definitely is. Forgot to motion there. That's a bad throw, but that's all right. I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty straight up forward. You guys understand the concepts for uh, the, the curl flats zone. Again, with the draw, pretty simple. Just run it. Just hit, hit your holes. Do what you've got to do. Again, we're going to run it one more time. Try to get like a 10-yard gain here. AP, oh, okay, so MV Peterson doesn't doesn't get too much yards, but like I said, guys, you'll take those five yards. I think anybody will take those five yards. Again, four verticals is pretty much straight up, guys. Uh, it's just pretty much just throw the streaks. That's that's like nothing new for anybody. I don't even think that's new for, for uh, newer guys. I think pretty much everybody knows. So, again, same thing in man we would do in zone. Put the play exact same way, guys. Again, um, as you guys will see, the only difference we really had was like this, is the curl flats. We were going double curl flats here. That was the only difference between, man, we were doing this. We were doing something like that. But what you're going to do is you're just going to keep it. So that's really only the only difference between the man and the zone, which I hope you guys see. Uh, so I hope that's not confusing to anybody. So, again, uh, didn't mean to pause it there, but we'll go back into our play. Again, put him back in that cover three. Go back into your base play, which is the spread Y slot read option. 
you just press up on your D-pad and you'll get right to it. Again, put them in a cover three. You'll see the corners backed off. It's pretty much just a simple read. And again, we'll go into this wheel route. So like I said, you're going to drag that guy just like I said before and out him. Same thing, guys. Look for your out route at first. If it's there, like check that out, guys. He's backed off five yards and take that. That's like a seven-yard gain. I know that's like nothing special but you know what like seven yards is seven yards regardless of who you're playing now there the, the middle linebacker stepped up there made a good play but like i said guys if if that's there and let's just say because i know a lot of people like to use her the middle linebacker if that's there why not take that why not take your yards and then again there's your second read right there which is the reason why i'm outing him the running back is because by the time that drag gets there guys if you let the uh the out route develop he actually takes that middle linebacker away when he's in zone, which is why I was uh, dragging him. So right there, the middle linebacker played uh, pretty well. He actually stayed there. So that's pretty good. So again, drag him. Look at your out route first and look at your drag, especially in zone. The drag's there. Catch it. Get a couple yards. That's about seven yards. Again, let's run this one more time. That's actually four verts. Let's go drag, out route, leave everybody else just like you would. Look at your out route. If it's there, so see how he, he kind of like uh, – it bailed up too far, so you know, take that, and then you guys get the pretty much the concept. This is pretty a simple, a pretty simple read, which is why I really like this formation. Again, look at it again. Go ahead and throw that drag. Get by that middle linebacker. That's a 12 yard gain. I don't think anybody would take that. Again, so those are your first two reads. But like I said, your third and your third and fourth reads or your money reads are actually going to be the wheel routes and that circle route. So again, you're going to look to the right wheel route instead of the left wheel route. First, because the reason we are is because we actually have more guys flooding the right zones. Is another reason why we have the out. He actually floods that zone. So again, you're gonna look at that that X first, and as you guys see, he actually stays there that time, which is actually pretty good. Now, same thing. Out route him. Leave everybody else. You want that out route right there to suck down that corner, as you see right there. We'll go ahead and go to instant replay so you guys can see that again. Um, but that's what exactly what you want on that out route. It's, that's another reason why we're running the out route. If you guys watch this corner, he's covering the flats. So what happens is, as you call the play, he goes to the wheel route. But as you see Adrian Peterson entering his zone, he's got to go cover him. So he tries to release him, and right when he releases, Kyle Rudolph is running up the field. Perfect throw by Joe Webb, guys. Nice little interior throw. That's about a 15-yard gain. You'll take that. Um, again, that's another great thing about this little out route right here that you do with the running back. So again, out route him, drag him. If you're looking for a big play, like I said, look at there. He releases again. Uh, Joe Webb just gets hit there. That's just that's probably my fault. I probably should have bailed a little bit. So again, let me try bailing a little bit. Uh, again, hopefully this out route sucks him in. There it is. They're getting pretty good pressure. Like I said, guys, I would definitely suggest – a, a Seattle or a San Francisco but at the same time guys if you can get this with Minnesota then go ahead and do it but like I said guys if you want a more consistent quarterback then definitely go ahead and go with Seattle and San Francisco they probably got better defenses too but like I said guys I know a lot of people were asking for Minnesota there was a lot of Minnesota fans that were asking so I was like you know what I'll put one out go ahead and do it with them too so again you guys see how that opens up and then finally your your uh, last couple reads are going to be your look at your left uh, wheel route. But as you guys see right there, now that's there. That's a touchdown. Now that's a pretty good read. But the only thing that I don't like about that more than the right side is if you guys watch, that corner stays with him deep. Now, if you've got, that's a pretty good throw. I mean, you could, I guess you could go that side first. But that is honestly a really risky throw because that guy's standing there waiting for him. So again, we'll try pass it inside. I'm just surprised he's not bailing with him. So maybe we're gonna go ahead and make that the the better side that could be the better side but like i said guys don't force anything if you don't think you've got that if you don't think that throws there then don't don't force it again let's look at it again Ooh, i just uh didn't click on there and then so you guys get that so those are your money is your wheel that's why i really like this formation because it was a preset and then finally look at your circle route same thing once he hits that second break that was just a terrible throw and that was kind of what I was saying about Minnesota, if you want a consistent quarterback, he couldn't make that, but that's just Joe Webb right there. So, again, right when he makes that second break, he's just – and you guys can see already just Joe Webb is just like, ugh, just not just not good for this. But the read option for them is excellent. Um, again, 
Throw it on that second break. Finally, Joe Webb throws it, but Jenkins just can't get it there. Again, this, I'm going to go ahead and try passing a different way. I'm just going to bullet it in there. There it is. I decided not to pass lead. Um, you might not want to pass lead with Joe Webb. We'll go ahead and try that again. Try to see if this is more consistent, not pass leading. Uh, I guess it's not going to really matter, guys. Um, it could be all timing. Like I said, work on this route with your uh, quarterback before. So we're going to go one, two, three. Let's throw it at three. It's just Joe Webb just doesn't look like he's going to – He's going to get it done. Let's try to get at least one big play. One, two, three. There it is. Oh, nasty, yo. Jenkins is really good. That's the one person I do like on this team is Jenkins. That was a pretty nice little jump in front catch. Uh, one more time just for those Minnesota fans out there. Again, uh, that's not, ah, that safety came and got it. So like I said, guys, if you are thinking about running this but you think you're going to throw the ball way more consistently – than uh, re running the read option, then I would definitely not go with Minnesota. But if you are going to be like, oh, I'm going to run the read option and just run AP, uh, definitely think about this team because AP is going to be a monster in the read option. So that does it for the base play for the zone. Sorry about that. I had to break it up in two parts. Thanks, guys.